Hello, hello, Calvary. I'm Pastor Sean, and I have your word for the day. Today's passage is out of Psalm 59, and I love the context of this passage. So if you have your Bible in front of you, it'll tell you the context right above the passage itself. And it says, to the choir master, according to do not destroy, <laughs> a victim of David, when Saul sent men to watch his house in order to kill him. And what we find out is that David is writing this psalm in a moment in time of despair because people, enemies, are coming to kill him. He says in verse 1, Deliver me from my enemies, O my God. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from those who work evil and save me from bloodthirsty men. When we encounter enemies in this world, no matter what those enemies might look like, we should always call on God. But David does something a little different. He doesn't just stop at calling on God. You see in verse 8, he doesn't just call on God. He affirms that God has already won the victory for him. Verse 8 says, But you, O Lord, laugh at them. You hold all the nations in derision. O my strength, I will watch for you, for you, O God, are my fortress. My God in his steadfast love will meet me. God will let me look in triumph on my enemies. I was thinking, we all might have enemies in this world, people who hate us, people who want the worst for us. But the Bible is also very clear that our enemies as Christians is not flesh and blood. In fact, Ephesians 6 tells us, Ephesians 6 verse 10, uh, verse 12, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over his present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. You see, being Christians, we have a joy of not having to have human enemies. We don't get to hate anyone around us because we don't have to. They can't steal or take anything away from us, but we do have an enemy. You see, the devil, Satan himself, wants to destroy you. He wants to destroy all of us via distractions, via sin, via anything. He wants to steal your soul from underneath you. Uh, but we get to operate like David, where we get to call on God when our enemy is chasing after us with temptations and distractions and, and destruction. And then we get to call on the victory that's already at hand. You see, Christ already died for us. Christ died for us so we can live in victory over any temptations, over any sort of thing that would destroy us or try to steal our soul away from us. And with that, we get to, we get to live our lives in victory. And, and I was thinking, how do we take advantage of this victory? How do we live our lives in triumph? Well, maybe we do it how Jesus did it in Matthew 4. After Jesus was baptized... He went to the wilderness, the Spirit brought him to the wilderness to be tempted by the devil himself. And in so doing, he showed us how to have victory over Satan. That was by fasting, by praying, by using God's word against him. And we have all these things at our disposal. And so if you feel like you have enemies today, first of all, get rid of those human enemies. They're not real. We do not, we do not wrestle with flesh and blood. You have a real enemy who wants to destroy you, not just in this life, but for all eternity. And you need to live and rest in that victory that is ours today. So, Calvary, I'm praying for you. I hope you live in that victory. And I love you. I'll see you later.